Hello and welcome to Soho for today's video which is a follow-up from my previous video about this infamous expression. Please, before making any comment, try to watch this video entirely, please, please, thank you. Many of you might wonder why I made that video and why I took side. There are three reasons for that. The first reason is to remind people the order of operation that some of you call PEMDAS and uh, especially that multiplication does not usually have precedence over the division which is also the case between addition and subtraction. The second reason is that I wanted to gather some opinions from people from both sides and uh, we're going to discuss them here. The third reason is that I wanted to make a kind of um, social experiment and um, I can tell you that this was very successful. I could see people fight and even insult each other about this kind of thing. So I gathered lots of people's arguments and uh, here are what I think are the common mistakes. The first mistake is that some people feel uh, like an urge to distribute. This comes from uh, algebra, but actually you don't have to distribute. If you can calculate first what lies inside the parenthesis, well, you can do it. Which is the case uh, usually in um, numerical expressions, like this one, it's a number, you know. Uh, so, you don't have to distribute first. Besides, you can distribute only if there are no other operation that, take, uh, that takes precedence over the multiplication. Let me give you an obvious example. Here it is. 2 multiplied by 1 plus, plus 2 squared. Obviously, you are not going to distribute first. The reason is very simple, because the, the square, the exponent, has priority. So you are going to deal with the exponent first, then, if necessary, you are going to distribute. A very common mistake is that some people think that parentheses have to be done first. Everything and you have to get rid of them first. Well, actually it's not the way it works. What you have to do first is what lies inside the parenthesis. That's it. Now what's outside is another matter and has to be dealt properly according to the priority rules you have. So, this lets us with one question. Does the division have higher priority or not? And this question is the root of the problem. To try to solve this, we need to speak about notations and their interpretations. During history, mathematicians have developed a lot of different notations, because you know they were scatter everywhere in the world and they couldn't always communicate so when they needed a notation they made their own. Most of those notations are not unified but there are still uh, different schools. For instance, what some people write 3.14 some other people would write it 3,14 which is the case in my country. And this difference in notation is the same for division. So those three notations for division are actually exactly equivalent. They just depend on which school, which heritage you have, uh, I mean the mathematician who wrote it has, uh, or which history he depends on. Those are exactly equivalent. And no, this slash is not a fraction bar. 
that also confuses a lot of people. This is not a fraction bar. So, what is this equal to? This or that? Well, actually, none of us learned how to interpret this expression. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when we started to deal with axis, to use algebra, our math level was high enough not to use inline expressions. And we commonly use fraction bars. So we never have actually to deal with that. We don't know how to interpret it. Hence the confusion. People who use everyday inline notations are actually computer programmers, but the notations they use are actually within the frame of the language they use. So this is not really relevant for our subject because um, each language uses its own rules which can be the same or different from ours. So, actually, how to interpret this? Well, a long time ago when books were printed with inline expressions, either because the technology wasn't there, either because uh, it was too expensive, the writer would mention beforehand which set of rules he would apply. So basically this is, there is the uh, two sets of rules. The standard one, which use uh, strictly the order of operations, saying that uh, the division has precedence because it's on the left of the multiplication, whether or not there's a, a sign is not relevant, there's an operation, which is a multiplication, and it's on the right of the division, so the division has the priority. So, if you use these standard rules, then you get uh, this. But, there's another set of rules coming directly from algebra, saying that since those two are stuck together, though it's a multiplication, some people say it's a coefficient, but it's the same. It's a multiplication, but without the sign. So since it's stuck together, the multiplication, which is not written, it's sometimes called implied multiplication, has higher priority over normal multiplication and division. So, this expression has to be interpreted like this. And, depending on the writer, along history, one set of rules or another has been used. Even great others disagree in their writing, of course. So, if you check mathematics or physics or other sciences uh, literature, you're going to see that both interpretations are right. So you might think it's a problem because mathematics should be written with one standard. This is not a problem. The problem, and that's why so many people debate about it, is to write such an expression without saying which set of rules you're using. And that is why also calculators can be a problem because uh, it's rarely clear in the manual which set of rules they use. And depending on the model, and I said model, not brand, one set of rules is used or the other. So you get different results. I should mine one day, I can show you other calculators with different answers. And for us human, we all avoid, or we should avoid, inline notation. For this reason, it is ambiguous. To conclude this video, both solutions 1 and 9 are correct. This expression is not, because it lacks clarification. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time for next video. Bye bye.